Hello everyone, the Victoria is here and uh, in this uh, series I am trying to explain how did I uh, put together a very very hyper super simple uh, first person character controller. Uh, this is uh, for my uh, Unity Experiments project, but later I intend to put this in my into my uh, Pinball Mansion project that I'm working on. The first thing that I have started uh, with is this uh, starter asset. This is for the Unity Classic first person character controller. And I created a test project for it so that I can see what it can do. So if I start this with the mouse, I can rotate the uh, character and with the WASD key, I can walk around. The W key always makes the character go towards where it's facing basically and that is good enough for me. The looking up and down is limited. This character can also jump with the space but I totally don't need that. You can uh, download it from the Unity Asset Store. This is the Starter Assets first person character controller. It has uh, an input settings. Oh. Sorry, no. This one is says that uh, which is uh, going to move, which is uh, going to look, and they are using the delta pointer for looking. And also uh, this interesting because they are using the cinema machine camera system. This uh, player capsule has a character controller on it. This is a special collider if I my understanding is correct making sure that the character controller is not colliding and we've got this first person controller which basically moves the camera moves the character around so the cinemachine brain has the live camera set up to this player follow camera and the player follow camera is set up so that is going to follow this player camera route. Looking at is none. And as far as I recall, the other settings are uh, haven't been uh, changed from the default. It's just this uh, follow uh, setting has been changed. So my idea is we can use something similar for our project, even though that it is in dots. So let's check what do we have here. So in, in dots, we've got this dots player. It has a physics shape, a physics body, which is kinematic, and a capsule collider. This has a player tag. And I can put this dots camera target here, which is fine. So if we are moving the dots player, the dots camera target moves along with it. And also I have uh, installed the um, Cinemachine package, obviously. As you can see, I've got the 2.6 version for it. So we've got a main this whole camera handling part is a non-dots part. We've got this main camera here with the Cinemachine brain. And we've got this uh, first-person camera follower. This is the equivalent, this main camera we've got here. And the player follow camera This in this project that is here. In my dots project, this is this first camera follower. So the main camera has this first person camera follower and this has this, this virtual camera. And this is going to follow this non-dots non camera target. And that is this. And if I move this around, as you can see, the camera is moving with it. 
So the only thing that we have to achieve that we make sure that this non, non dots camera target follows has the same position as this dots camera target. Same position and rotation. But how can we do this? So in this dots camera target that the, there is this dots camera target data ordering strip, script which is specifies the minimal vertical angle, the maximum vertical angle and the correct vertical angle and the vertical rotation speed. The reason why I uh, did this because I tried to look for a solution where I could limit the rotation obviously i wanted to limit just like in the starter project the looking up and down motion so that the user uh, won't be able to look too much high and too low because i think that is uh, meaningless and uh, I decided the best thing is that if I have a minimum vertical angle, maximum vertical angle, and I uh, have a current vertical angle uh, field, and I'm constantly updating this and make sure that this is between these two values, these values are in uh, radians, not in uh, degrees, so that I don't have to uh, convert those. I guess this is cleaner like this. And so, yeah, in this way, I don't really have to deal with the, the figuring out how to uh, limit the vertical rotation by quaternion. Uh, my system is much simpler. So the, the most important thing that this DOS camera target has this uh, component on it, and this is the only thing that has this component on it, the, uh, which is in this player. So, following this now in, from a mono, mono behavior, it's easy because we can create an entity query which queries this dots camera target data. And then in the late update, uh, we can get the singleton entity for this component. And we can just update the position and the rotation of this um, uh, object. So uh, this entity has a local to world component and uh, the follow dots camera target obviously attached uh, here, follow dots camera target. So now we can set the transform position to this local to world position and the transform point rotation to this uh, local to world rotation. So the Entity Manager is a useful uh, friend here for communicating between the dots world and the non-dots world. And in this way, we can achieve a similar uh, result. In this video, I'm not going to show you how made my uh, character move. This is going to be a subject of a later video, but just for so you can see that this is working. I'm going to start this. And as you can see, my character moves around and the camera is rotating and the camera is totally following my uh, character. And uh, I would like to note something why we doing all in this um, this camera movement in the late update. So we got these systems and actually I read in the forum that you can turn on the show full player loop. 
And so we got the update. This is where the um, behavior update runs. Then we've got the simulation. And after all of the simulation has been done, so we have already moved the character and so on, etc. Then come this behavior late update, and that is run before the presentation system group. So I think this is the perfect place to use the late update for updating the camera movement because the presentation system group is doing the rendering basically. So just before we are rendering, we are adjusting the camera positions. The cameras uh, so far is not being uh, supported by dots, but in this way we can quite easily achieve what we want um, with the use of the Cinemachines as well and with the use of the Entity Manager as well. Uh, so, I, uh, th I think uh, that was it for this uh, video. I hope you enjoyed it and perhaps learned something from it or at least get inspired from it. And uh, see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.